I remember seeing a lot of ads for Mr. In-Between when it was coming out and it never appealed to me. The ad showed a creepy looking dude similar to William Dafoe but bald with neon colors. But after seeing them enough I looked into the reviews which were good. So I thought what the hell and I started watching it and I'm really glad I did. The IMDb logline is Ray Shoesmith is a father, an ex-husband, boyfriend, brother and best friend, tough roles to juggle in the modern age. Especially when you're also a criminal for hire. The show is Australian and I don't think you're going to recognize anyone but a couple of people. The main one you might recognize is Damon Harriman, who played Charles Manson in Once Upon a Time in Hollywood and Mindhunters. And he was also in Justified. He's always good and here he plays Ray's boss who he uses to do criminal deeds for money. As a club. Yeah, good. Fuck, it's weird. I've never visited anyone inside before. I know. I've got a job for you, if you're interested. Yeah, well, I'm going to be in here for a while, mate, so... Uh... Yeah, now the job's in here. What's that? The, the job's in here. Ah, OK. Um... It's a guy called Johnny Tran. You know him? No. It's it's not for me. It's for a guy I know. And what's the job? Well, the guy's being a bit of a dickhead, so you know, just fuck him up a bit. Nothing permanent. How much? Ten. What do you reckon? Hmm. But let's get back to Ray, who's fantastic in the show. The show is based on a film he made in 2005 called The Magician, and I'm surprised to see that this and the film are the only thing he's written and acted in. I don't know if it's by choice or what, but the guy is excellent. He's funny, affable, and charming when he needs to be, but when the hitman side of him needs to come out, he's quite menacing. Again, he reminds me of an Australian William Defoe, except he doesn't go as big as Defoe in his more crazy roles. What's your problem, dickhead? Well, you're slapping the mirror. What's your problem? You're supposed to stop, dipshit. Why is that, mate? Because it's a pedestrian crossing, mate. So where's the white stripes painted on the road and the sign that says it's a pedestrian crossing then, buddy? Still a crossing, you fuck rip. Is it? Ooh! Hey! Are you for real? Ah, <sighs> uh, fuck. Gary is both a perfect comedic relief and best friend to a guy like Ray. He supports him and will occasionally help in one of his crazy jobs. See you around, eh? His daughter Brittany for a kid actor is quite good. I really like how Ray's and her relationship is explored. Ray for a hitman is quite laid back and open. And he doesn't try to lie or talk down to her. He tells it to her straight and expects her to handle it like a reasonable person. What's your birth date? 25th of March, 76. You're a dragon. Is that good? Yeah, you're my triangle of affinity. What's that? It's where there's three animal signs in triangle. Dragon, you, me, and then monkey and rat. Is that what your mum is, a rat? No, she's a tiger. Tigers don't get along with dragons, though. That's how you got divorced. So if you want to get married again, you need to find someone who's a dragon, monkey, or rat. Easy peasy. People don't say that anymore, Dad. It's like circa 1980. There's three seasons of the show, and the acting is great throughout. Same goes for the writing. The show is basically split into three parts. A third of the show is Ray being a normal, red-blooded guy just trying to live his life. Raising his kid, hanging out with friends, dating. Another third is a sort of in-between of his normal life and his hitman life, where he lets out his anger issues, though he doesn't see it that way through his prism. He's not the type of guy who's going to be pushed around. Respect is a big thing for him. If you respect him, he'll respect you. 
And if you don't, then he's got a problem. Unfortunately, this leads him to having to attend anger management. And he doesn't see eye to eye with the head counselor. Do you think that you've got an anger problem? No. Okay. Birds flying, you know how I feel. So if you're in jail and you disrespect somebody, Sun in the sky. you can end up dead. You know how I feel. There's consequences. But out here in the real world... Oh, hey. Why don't you watch where you're going, eh? What was that? There's no consequences. And I'm feeling... Because people let them get away with it. Good. You right, old man? Oh. Do you enjoy hitting people? I wouldn't say I enjoy hitting people. I'm pretty big on respect. You know if you don't, we got a problem. So in your mind, you've done society a favor? Yeah. <laughs> a pretty unique perspective for a hitman type character to have. Then the last third is him pulling jobs for his boss. Usually it's taking out people, but sometimes he does jobs like he's hired by a guy dying of cancer to find the body of his teenage daughter. It's written and played perfectly in a bloody, dark, and disturbing way. The action scenes are really well shot and exciting. The show is three seasons and I binged through it pretty damn quick. The first season is six episodes and only around 25 minutes a piece per episode. If you have any curiosity or inkling to watch this, do yourself a favor and watch the first season. Get a trial version of Hulu or buy a month and binge it. I think if you do, most likely you'll binge the whole show. You'll get through it before you know it and it wraps up nicely and will leave you wanting more, which is exactly what I want from a TV show.